Art lovers, this video is for you. As for the others, skip to my next one or the previous one. I just came to the McName Museum in San Antonio. The Spanish Mediterranean mansion located in the heart of well-to-do Alamo Heights houses impressive artworks from the 19th and 20th century America and Europe in addition to one of the largest theater arts collection in the United States. Its grounds are so lovely and its collections, boasting fountains, streams, goldfish ponds and Japanese style gardens. Kusama's All the Eternal Love I Have for the Pumpkins is one of the Japanese artist's signature infinity mirror rooms on loan to the McNay from the Dallas Museum of Art. This installation is the first infinity mirror room featuring pumpkins created by Kusama since 1991 and the only infinity mirror room of its kind in North America collection. Stepping inside the mirrored space and fully immerse myself in the fantastical pumpkin patch was phenomenal. McNay was an American painter and art teacher who inherited a substantial oil fortune upon the death of her father. The museum was named after her and has been expanded to include galleries of medieval and renaissance artwork and a larger collection of the 20th century European and American modernist work. She built a home in 1927 designed by Alti Iris and his son Robert Iris. Upon her death, the house was bequeathed to the city of San Antonio to house the museum. The McNay Art Museum, founded in 1954 in San Antonio, is the first modern art museum in the U.S. state of Texas. The McNay pays tribute to the 90s icon, singer, designer, and Texas legend Selena Quintanilla Perez with five photographs by award-winning San Antonio photographer John Dyer. Selena was the subject of Dyer's photo assignments for the cover of Mass magazine in 1992 and again for Texas Monthly in 1995, just months before she was tragically killed at age of 23. For those who know me, they know I love Monet so much, but nothing compares to my visit to Orangerie Museum in Paris, hosting Claude Monet's famous water lilies painted in his garden at Giverny in Normandy. As every museum, they always have different themes, different subjects, different artists. As I was visiting, it was limitless. It talks about five women reshape contemporary art, features the artwork of individuals who create without boundaries. The exhibition is a visual delight for all ages, inviting you to think outside the box, where the possibilities are truly limitless.
Of course, looking at the paintings through a video is not the same as visiting and living the moment and seeing the details of each painting. All right, guys, so this is Matthias. But the face is crooked. The face is tilted. I guess on purpose, whatever. <laughs> and this is Picasso. I like it. I like Picasso's black and white. In Barcelona, I saw one very huge. Nice. And yes, they have wedding proposals at the McNe. If you're interested in proposing at the McNe, contact their event rental coordinator to plan the perfect proposal. We saw a glitter here. There's a glitter somewhere here. There's a glitter here. Someone touched it. So yeah, we find a spark in the painting. And they're investigating. Are you, are you gonna take it out? Because there's a spark in it? Okay. <laughs> so guys please remember only look and don't touch the art is not to be touched and try your best to stay away from it at least six feet away The McNe was built by artist and educator Marion Kugler McNe in 1920s 
The Spanish colonial reviver style residence opened as Texas' first Museum of Modern Art in 1954. Today, more than 100,000 visitors a year enjoy works by modern masters including Paul Gauguin, Vincent van Gogh, Edward Hopper, Georgia O'Keeffe, Pablo Picasso, Jackson Pollock, and Pierre Auguste Renoir. Isn't that cool? Check the Mekne Art Museum website at mekneart.org to get informed about the exhibition happening at the time of your visit. Thank you for watching the Mekne Art Museum video and don't forget to subscribe to my channel and to activate the bell button. Thank you for watching. So I am at the Mekne Museum. It was a nice visit. It was a very nice visit actually. Mekne Museum. In San Antonio, you should visit that museum. Yes, I can imagine.